We'd like to thank our drum, the Yaman Suit Singers, and our head man and head woman dancer, Wilbert Michelle Sr. and Linda King, for bringing in our graduates. Please stand as we have Mr. Jim Durglo, the department head for the Confederate Salish and Kootenai College, our Confederate Salish and Kootenai Tribal, Tribal Forestry and SKC Director, Chairman. Thank you, Juan. What a beautiful sight from where I sit, stand. I'm so blessed today to stand before you and give a blessing for this day and for this ceremony. For bringing the students in. Let us pray. Dear Creator, we stand before you now to acknowledge your presence and to give you thanks and praise. We thank you for the precious and sacred gift of life. We thank you for the gift of family, friends, and relation. We thank you for our foods, our water, our homes, and our jobs. We thank you today for the gift of education and the perseverance and commitment to achieve it. We humbly ask your blessings, especially for our elders and for the visitors that have traveled so far to celebrate and enjoy this ceremony with us today. We ask your blessings on our children, our graduates, and your families. For these things we give you thanks and praise in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Kumiyaschai. Thank you. Thank you. Please have a seat. We'd like to welcome to the stage Dr. Sandra Boham, President, Salish Kootenai College. Good morning and thank you all for coming here to celebrate this amazing day and the accomplishments of these students that we are so proud to call SKC graduates. I know that this has been a big day that you've all been looking forward to and I know that all of your family that is here has been very much a support in your efforts to reach this educational goal that you have set for yourself. We know the journey isn't easy. We know there's many times when we might have thought, I'm not sure that I can stay on this path and finish, but you did, and here you are. And we are so grateful that we are going to be able to help you celebrate today and I know that our board of directors um, is thrilled to be able to sit here and watch all of you as you come across this stage today on your path to your next step in your future, whatever that might be. I know some of you are going straight to work, some of you have internships, and some of you are going to continue your education. But whatever you do, I know that you will be amazing in your journey. I know that you are the best and the brightest and that we are honored to have had the opportunity to call you our students. And don't forget the Alumni Association and you'll hear about that in a little bit because we want to keep in touch with you. We consider you part of our family. Your faculty members who are here today that have mentored you are also very proud of you. And thank you to all the parents, grandparents, husbands, wives, fathers, sisters, brothers, children that help support you on your journey. And so with that, I'm not gonna talk a whole lot because there's some other people that would like to say a few words to you. And I know you'd really like to feel that diploma in your hands. So congratulations and enjoy this day that you have earned and celebrate. Thank you.
On behalf of the Salish Kootenai Tribal Council, Dennis Claremont will give a welcoming. I'm honored to stand here before you this morning and, and welcome you to this, this graduation. Uh, I'm here on behalf of the Confederated Salish and Kootenai Tribes and, and the Tribal Council. Uh, we have a gathering of parents, families, students, and friends. Uh, some of you have traveled a long way, you're local, and some of are local, and getting to graduation is a, an academic journey and achievement. No matter what life brings in the future, your education is something you will always have and cherish and won't be taken from you. It opens doors for lots of opportunities. So welcome students to your graduation and, and welcome all on behalf of the Tribal Council. Lem Lems. Please welcome back Mr. Jim Durglow, Salish Kootenai College Board of Director, Chairman. Thank you, Juan. Cheska Cloud again. On behalf of the Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors, we welcome you to the homelands of the Confederate Salish, Kalispeh, and Kootenai Tribes. And welcome to the Salish Kootenai College campus and to our tribal communities. We welcome especially our elders families of our students and community leaders. Thank you for attending and participating in our graduation ceremony and celebration. Congratulations to all our 2017 SKC graduates. We are very proud of you all. We thank you for choosing SKC and for being a part of our SKC family, and we really mean that. The Board of Directors is composed of seven members. Our membership is a diverse group of folks from around the community, appointed by our Tribal Council to four-year terms in order to set policy and to work with President Boham on setting priorities for the college. Presently on the board, is Miss Jody Perez, Miss Nancy Gaynor, Miss Rhonda Whiting, Miss Delilah Freelander, and not with us today is uh, Mr. Jamie Corville and Miss Ellen Swainey. Former SKC leaders, including administration and board members, have all helped blaze the bison trail. They have contributed countless hours to make Salish Kootenai College what it is today. Again, it's something we're all proud of. And I also wanted to throw a shout out to all those former board members, if they're here today. I see Rich, Rich Jansen, he's a director for a natural resources program. Are there any other former board members with us today? Is Bob? Bob Fowdy? Where are you at? Joanne? Jojo? Jojo Ducharme? Again? Who? Oh, Dana, you want corn? Yes. I, want, I wanted to acknowledge that because they have, have also spent a lot of time, volunteer time, uh, helping out SKC. So thank you as well. The SKC mission statement speaks to providing quality post-secondary educational opportunities for Native American students locally and from the, throughout the United States. And I believe that there's over 68 tribes represented at SKC. So that's, that's something, something. 
It also states that SKC will promote community and individual development and perpetuate the cultures of our tribes. Our vision statement speaks to empowering students to improve the lives of their families and communities through research, leadership, and service. I hope that we have fulfilled our obligation to you as students in providing a quality educational opportunity in order to help you fulfill your vision to improve the lives of your families and your communities. Again, welcome to all and congratulations to our graduates and your families. Thank you. Giving the student address is a 2017 Salish Kootenai College and American Indian College Fund Student of the Year, Ms. Robin Maxke. Sorry, I have to adjust. <laughs> so, hello, my name is Robin Moxke. I'm the co-star of a national PBS series called Cold Trip, the director of the first National Collegiate American Indian Hackathon held in Minneapolis, a National Science Foundation summer scholar, an invitee to the White House under the Obama administration, as well as an ambassador for American Indian Higher Education Consortium, American Indian College Fund, and the Peace Corps, to name a few things. But today, I'm incredibly privileged to join all of you in another amazing achievement. I'm privileged to join you guys in graduating Salish Kootenai College and now being able to call ourselves graduates. Congratulations for the blessings you already had, which brought you here to today's graduation, and blessings for what begins now, for what Salish Kootenai College has actually been preparing you for, which is the rest of your life. While we are now armed with more education than we had before, we are also now armed with more friends than we knew before. Our friends become our traveling companions in our life's journey. And while we can't just choose, we do get choices. Make them wisely because people are so much more important than the mysterious stuff in our lives. So make friends and keep them. Continue to find teachers and mentors and look for opportunities to teach and advise others. For those of you who are continuing on to become teachers and scholars, Remember that the bonds between students and teachers can be close and lifelong, and that simple words of encouragement can mean the world of difference. So thank you, faculty, for believing in us. When I first arrived at Salish Kootenai College, I didn't know anyone. I'm Stockbridge Muncie, which is over the mountain and a few states away. So I spent the first few quarters primarily alone. I chose to focus my free time on achieving things outside of school, publishing articles, creating proposals, accomplishments to starve off that loneliness. On campus, I would take walks to clear my head, exploring the beautiful 128 acres that compromise the campus. I told myself it would be OK. You just keep your head down and go to school, graduate, then leave. But life rarely goes according to plan. I started making friends. It started with one, and then it spread. And I was so excited to have friends in my own peer group, something I had heavily missed out on with my head in the clouds and my face normally stuck in a laptop. I can't always articulate how much people mean to me. Emotions are still something I struggle to define. But these people, these friends, meant so much to me. I wanted to repay them, but I didn't know how. So I would show them the hideouts and the amazing views I had stumbled upon my walks on this campus, how the golf course looks under the winter snow, the view from that rickety bench next to the pond near the science building, the pianos hidden in the theater, that long concrete tunnel under the road. It was the only thing I could think of. Soon we had more students coming on these walks. We would usually just end up talking under the stars mostly about nothing, but it was everything. I felt beyond bonded with students at these moments. I felt love for these moments. I felt love for students, and more importantly, I felt love for myself. Yet nothing goes according to plan as life is wont to do. Tragedy and ill fortune sometimes strike. The first year, my, my personal world seemed to crumble just as I started to make friends. My mother was diagnosed with cancer. My father had wet brain. And my grandfather passed away, and my grandmother had Alzheimer's. I contemplated giving up. I contemplated dropping out. 
I contemplated my worth. I contemplated a lot of things. But it was these students, it was you, this ragtag community that we, we had built that kept me together. People can take you to places you can't go on your own. This is important, remember this. You won't always have people around you. There are times, especially now that you've graduated, where you will journey out on your own. You will be armed with only your knowledge and your beliefs. Know that people will laugh at you sometimes. Know that people will disagree with you. Know that you will be alone sometimes and have to make hard decisions all on your own. Know when to listen and when to speak, something I constantly struggle with. Know your rights, whether it's for something as simple as dodging curfew or something as complicated as government treaties. Believe in yourself. Believe that you can do it. Believe that you will make it through. Believe that you are intelligent because you are. You have proven that. Believe and truly know that you will make a difference. Explore. Go on journeys and adventures, whether it be as simple as walking around your neighborhood. Take your friends with you and make friends along the way. Don't forget your roots, but don't let them shrivel with complacency. So whatever you choose to do, however many paths you travel, I hope you choose not to be some quiet, shy stereotype. I hope you will find a way to break the rules and make a little trouble out there. And I also hope that you will choose to make some of that trouble on behalf of Native students everywhere. Good luck, and I wish you all the best. Anushik. Thank you. Giving this year's commencement address is the Montana State Director of Indian Affairs for the Governor's Office and a 2007 SKC graduate, Mr. Jason Smith. Good afternoon, everyone. And thank you, Robin. Those are beautiful words. Thank you for inviting me today to join the graduating class of 2017. I always look forward to the times I get to spend with graduates. It's humbling to stand before you today. Each one of you have a story to tell that is shaping your future. A story that defines who you are today. A story that will shape your leadership skills as you do great things for your friends, your family, and your communities. Your story may be defined by obstacles and challenges, some that others may never fully understand what you went through. But you are here. You have made a commitment today to invest in your education and to invest in your future. Each of you have that story that will indeed add to your own success and to, your, to the state's overall success. Tribal colleges in Montana serve as the fundamental cornerstone of giving an opportunity for you to reach higher. Graduation is a success story that someday down the road you can share with others. Your success may inspire others to follow your path. Don't be afraid to shape your journey for others to follow. We need the following generations of students to grasp their education and shape their careers while retaining and practicing their traditions and culture for your family, friends, and communities. As you all face crossroads and face major decisions in the near future, 
Just remember this formula of success and repeat, repeat, repeat. All around you today are your supporters of professors, advisors, parents, friends, who are here today to celebrate your accomplishment. Take this moment to look into the stands and see how much support you have. As you continue to shape what is the future that's going to look like for you, remember how important it is always to look back while you move forward. Remember to find ways to make your tomorrow even better than today. Montana is special in that there are many Native Americans of the past and today to look toward for your inspiration and leadership. I count myself very fortunate to have learned from influential Native American leaders who have made significant impacts to not only their communities, but to our state and our nation. Eloise Cobell was a determined fighter who refused to let injustice stand. While serving as the treasurer for the Blackfeet tribe, she discovered significant errors in the accounting and management of land held in trust by the federal government, resulting in royalties that had never been paid off. Through her advocacy and hard work, she brought forth the largest class action lawsuit ever against the federal government. After more, than a after more than a decade of litigation, delays, and setbacks, she successfully settled the case for Indian Country. Throughout that long, difficult struggle, she never allowed herself to be defeated and refused to give up. She recognized the injustice that was taking place. She knew she was right and she knew she was not gonna give up this cause until she was successful. Through her work, she showed others a path for righting the wrongs. Even if that path was daunting, she showed that setbacks were not defeats, they were an opportunity to explore another path. Her voice will echo for generations and provide us with volumes of lessons we can use to go about following in her footsteps and carrying on her legacy while learning to create and live your own legacy. As Director of Indian Affairs for Governor Bullock, I am fortunate to get so many opportunities to visit with tribes in every corner of Montana I have been able to help create and pass policies to preserve Montana Indians' languages, create more access to equitable health care, support student, student college transition into good paying jobs, and create more access to capital for Native owned businesses. This is the door of opportunity opened because I received my education from the prestigious Salish Kootenai College. <clears throat> my story will be your story. I remain committed on the behalf of State of Montana to protecting the American Indian culture and languages that are vital to the identity of tribal nations and our entire state. You all make Montana proud, and I hope through your educational and professional experiences, you are equipped with the skills and knowledge to be ready for your future. And don't forget you are a role model and serve as ambassadors to your family, friends, and communities. 
and just remember you are all unique and special. Thank you and congratulations to the class of 2017 of, for striving to be here at this monumental part of your life. Thanks to President Boham, the Board of Directors, faculty and staff who have put in the time and effort to teach our students for the benefit of our tribal nations and the state of Montana. God bless and good luck. Presenting the 2017 Teachers of the Year, Mr. Dan Durglo, Vice President of Academic Affairs. Good afternoon, students, staff, faculty, guests, board of directors, administration, and other honored, distinguished individuals. It is my honor and privilege to introduce this year's SKC American Indian College Fund Faculty of the Year Award. This award is handed out annually to a distinguished member of our faculty that demonstrates outstanding service and leadership in their service to their respective students their peers, and the college community. This year, we are pleased to announce that we have two recipients of this distinguished honor. They both contribute greatly and equally in supporting their dental assisting technology students and Salish Kootenai College. This year's recipients of the SKC American Indian College Fund Faculty of the Year Award are Danica Ludke and Jennifer Hoff. Both Danica and Jennifer are graduates of Salish Kootenai College with an Associates of Applied Science degree in Dental Assisting Technology. They both also hold a Bachelor of Applied Science degrees in Dental Assisting Technology from MSU Billings. Danica graduated from Ronan High School and is married to Andy Lutke and is actively involved in raising their two children. She has just completed her 11th year of employment here at SKC. Jennifer, a graduate of Hot Springs High School, is married to Chuck and is a proud mother of six. She has just completed her 21st year of employment here at Salish Kootenai College. <laughs> the SKC American Indian College Fund Teacher of the Year Award is awarded after nominations are received by peers across campus. This year's nominees were a unanimous choice. As co-directors of the Dental Assisting Technology Program, Danica and Jennifer are recognized and appreciated as employees that go above and beyond in their service to the Dental Assisting Technology students. Because of their consistent color-coordinated outfits, they are affectionately referred to as the twins. I prefer to call them the dynamic duo. Due to their tireless efforts in serving the mission of Salish Kootenai College, their dedication and commitment extend beyond campus into area and regional classrooms in Polson and Missoula the Dental Assisting Technology Program, with its outstanding reputation, have led to the development of a partnership, a new partnership with South Central Foundation in Anchorage, Alaska. That couldn't have happened without the support of Danica and Jennifer. In short, this is what their peers say about them. Danica and Jennifer epitomize caring, effective, and professional instructors. They have developed a model new student orientation, an innovative program delivery model, and an effective curriculum 
that prepares students to succeed in their careers and become a valuable part of the healthcare team in Native American communities. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you our SKC American Indian College Fund Faculty of the Year, Danica Ludke and Jennifer Hoff. Good afternoon. Congratulations, graduates. We have both been where you are today. We each earned our first degree from Salish Kootenai College. That degree started us down the path that has led us to where we are standing today. Salish Kootenai College has been a major part of our lives, first as students and now as faculty. It has become a home and an extended family for which we feel blessed and are forever grateful. Thank you. We have been accused of being passionate about our work and students here at SKC. We take this as a compliment and feel that this comes easy when you love what you do and you believe you make a difference in the lives of your students. We are honored and humbled to be receiving this award as we are surrounded by so many equally deserving faculty. We would like to thank our peers for nominating us, administration, the board of directors, and the American Indian College Fund for presenting us with this award. Thank you. Good luck, graduates. Presenting the 2017 Honorary Degree, Ms. Nancy Gaynor from the SKC Board of Directors. Salish Kootenai College annually awards honorary degrees primarily to tribal elders to acknowledge contributions to tribal education. This degree is the highest honor that Salish Kootenai College may confer upon an individual. This degree amplifies people who have contributed to the education fulfillment of the tribes. It is intended to recognize significant contributions to the tribes in the areas of culture, history, quality of life on the reservation, national resource preservation, environmental concerns, business development, and recognition for outstanding accomplishments that contribute to the possible positive image of Indian people. This year's recipient is Jeannie McChristofferson. I am. Um, um, Rhonda asked me to, t to do a little ditty did before I started. And I am talking. It sounds pretty loud right here, Rhonda. <laughs> Sorry. OK, so could I have a, could all of you who Attended Head Start, please stand up. One of you? That's, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and remain standing, okay? Well, thanks. I thought there was a few of you there. Okay, remain, remain standing. And all of you who have had children, please stand up and uh, attend Head Start. All of you who have had grandkids who attended Head Start, please stand up. <laughs> okay, I, could say, I could think it's fair to say that Head Start has made an impact on our reservation and our lives. Thank you.
So Jeannie has, Jeannie has given, I think she's given her life to, to, the, to the reservation. She's given 40 years as the, um, in the Head Start. First she started off as a, a teacher's aide in 1973. In 1974, she was made teacher. In 1976, um, they put her in as director. And she is nationally known for probably the best head start in the nation. <laughs> Through her, uh, the grants that she has received on behalf of the reservation, she has um, increased delivery of her services from 45 to 200? Two, yeah, about 250. About two, 250, I thought this number was wrong. And uh, she continues now to implement the culture component of the program with a focus on native language, powwows, and the construction of regalia, trips to the elders, the culture sites, and participation in the culture camps. I'd now like to read a letter of a former student, parent, and now an employee of Head Start. This was the easy one because we received so many letters in support of Jeannie, and half of them I, I couldn't get through without crying, so this one's the easier one. She said, I think it was Erin Irving, she said, I went to Head Start when I was a child. I remember the friendly and loving atmosphere. I remember our cook serving food with nothing but smiles, getting dressed up for powwow, and teachers educate us in ways that made learning fun. I still love Head Start now that I'm a parent. My first son started early Head Start when he was only five months old. And I was a brand new mother of 20 years and I had no idea what I was doing, but Head Start gave me the tools, support and education I needed to make a better parent in every aspect. It warmed my heart when I walked into my son's classroom and saw my Head, Hearts, my head Start teacher was still there. I was thrilled when I knew she'd be part of teaching my son. All of three of her children have attended Head Start and flourish. It gives me a wonderful feeling. The same feeling drew me to apply for work at Head Start. Little did I know until I actually worked for Head Start that Jeannie was the face of early childhood services. Now I have a relationship with Jeannie. I can say with confidence that Head Start Early Head Start and everything it represents is a direct reflection of Jeannie Christofferson. Jeannie inspires me to be a better person with everything she has done for me, my family, and all that she continues to do. I am not the only one to benefit from Jeannie's dedication. Thank you, Jeannie, and congratulations. So the Board of Trustees, of the, upon the recommendation of the faculty, confers upon Jeannie Wall Christofferson the award of Bachelor of Arts, Native American Studies, with all its rights, honors, and privileges, in witness it's the seal of the college and signature of the president and chairman of the board. This must be like winning an Academy Award, right? <laughs> so, I've been thinking about what I'm going to say up here to all of you, and what I want to say is that you are at the right place at the right time. I was once at the right place at the right time when I started to work for Head Start. And I didn't, that was 42 years ago, and it went just like that. So when you decide what you want to do and you're at the right place at the right time, time is going to fly by. I had the opportunity, I have had the opportunity to work 42 years for my tribe.
And that opportunity is the best thing that ever happened to me. I was at the right place at the right time, and it enabled me to find a passion. It enabled me to um, do something in every community with many families, many, many children, and many staff. So uh, this is not something I did alone. This is something I had a lot of help with. And I had a lot of help from people internally in Head Start that have worked for the program for many years. I've had a lot of help from the communities. As a matter of fact, Salish Kootenai College is one of our partners. And our employees come to school here. And several of them are sitting in your ranks. That's an exciting thing when people can stay home, raise their family, and get a quality education. So they didn't have to leave home. They could maintain their jobs. They have a support system. Just look at the support system. So I'm not supposed to talk too long, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to quit. But thank you very much. And remember, you're at the right place at the right time. Thank you. And now for the presentation and awarding of the diplomas to the SKC class of 2017, Mr. Dan Durgalo, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and Ms. Tracy McDonald, SKC Dean of Student Services. President Boham, I certify to you and the Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors that these candidates for graduation have fulfilled the requirements prescribed for completion of their degree programs as established by the Salish Kootenai College Board of Directors and in compliance with accreditation through the Northwest Commission on Colleges and Universities. These candidates are entitled to be admitted to the rank, privileges, and responsibilities of their respective degree programs. I now present to you the class of 2017. <laughs> Cecilia Renee Coscella, Associate of Science in Mathematical Science, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education Mathematics. Margaret Tailfeathers, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Mathematics. Cole Marcus Cordier, Bachelor of Science, Secondary Education, Broadfield Science. Shauna R. Berthelot, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, P3. <laughs> Talina Sinclair, Bachelor of Science, Early Education, Education, P3. <laughs> Taylor J. Crawford, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education, 
P3. Brianna Peterson, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education, P3. Lisa Marie Wall Wilbert, Associate of Arts, Early Education, P3. Julius Ann Weaselhead, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education, P3. Caitlin Brandable, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Pamela Ray Sisney, Bachelor of Science, Early Childhood Education. Brittany Lace Fisher, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education. Jordan Catherine Camille Cart, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Tommy Heavy Runner, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Heidi J. Campbell, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Aspen D. Manyhides, Bachelor of Science, Elementary Education. Sarah Lynn Anderson, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Bronwyn L. Conrad, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Sierra Kimberly Matt, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Sunny Dicoto, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Vanessa Garfield, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Jenna M. Jansen, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Adrian Rain Tailfeathers, Associate of Science, Elementary Education. Dana Hewincorn, Bachelor of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Marcia Gochi, Bachelor of Arts, Tribal Historic Presentation. Philip O.L. White, Bachelor of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation, Workforce Certification in GIS. Doris Renee Camel, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Aspen A. Smith, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation, Workforce Certification, GIS. Virginia Morgeau, Associate of Arts, Tribal Historic Preservation. Scott Wayne Beauvais, Associate of Arts, Mathematical Science, Bachelor of Science, Hydrology. <laughs> Stefan C. Martinez, Bachelor of Science, Hydrology, Workforce Certification, GIS. Tyler Foudy, Bachelor of Science, Hydrology. Vincent Paul Medicine Horse, Bachelor of Science, Hydrology, Workforce Certification, GIS. Alfred Richard George Boletto, Associate of Science, Hydrology. 
Ryan Jerry Black, Associate of Science, Hydrology. Tyrell Eugene Fenner, Associate of Science, Hydrology, Workforce Certification, GIS. Molly Stammer, Associate of Science, Hydrology, Workforce Certification, GIS. Stormy Perdash, Associate of Arts, Tribal Administration and Governance. <laughs> Kelly Caldbeck, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Robin Inez McGee Matsky, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Brooke Amber Filesteel, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Brandy Tennis Glantz, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Chelsea Laura Higgins, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Casey. Villarreal Sorrell, Bachelor of Arts, Psychology. Stella L. Bonilla, Art, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Henry Lee Claremont, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Tamara R. Marshall, Associate of Arts, Psychology. <laughs> Jessica Ann Corville, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Jamie Michael Shoemaker, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Anton Reginald Lee Taubel, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Crystal Ann DeBerry, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Elise Tenniel Teton, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Sarah Lolita Gravel, Associate of Arts, Psychology. Kenneth Edmo, Bachelor of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Amanda Jo Behrens, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Charlene Charlo, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Selena Carmel Gray, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Melissa Maldonado, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries, Workforce Certification, Indigenous Research Methods. Brett Charles Stevenson, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Marietta Stringer, Associate of Science, Wildlife and Fisheries. Tamara Jo Birdspill, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Colleen Amy George, Associate of Science, Forestry, Forest Management, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. Charmaine Lynn Dia, Associate of Science, Hydrology, Associate of Science, Forestry, Forest Management, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Forest Management. <laughs> Kyle W. Blackman, Bachelor of Science, Forestry, Fire Option. Thomas Z. Brandon, Bachelor of Science, or Bachelor of Social Work.
Stephen Scott Hunt, Bachelor of Social Work. Desiree Lynn Oldhorn, Bachelor of Social Work. Irene L. Ogier, Associate of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Anthony Edward Peterson, Associate of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Richard Christian, Jr., Associate of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Janine M. Shigley, Associate of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Molly Elizabeth Kennedy, Associate of Arts, Chemical Dependency Counseling. Angelo Ty Dombo, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Kyle C. Hendricks, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Daryl John Fish, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Colton S. Martinez, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Jillian Graves, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Isaac P. Wall, Bachelor of Arts, Business Administration. Clarence Aragon, Jr., Associate of Arts, Business Management. Mariah Olson, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Amanda Lee Roan, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Kristen M. Falcon, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Dakota J. Swink, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Emerald L. Tucker, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Merlina Whiteman, Associate of Arts, Business Management. Jennifer Bear Medicine, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Trey Stephen Fowdy, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Linnell Victoria Trombley, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Jennifer R. Moran, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Sunny Mary Whiteman, Bachelor of Science, Nursing. Ashley Moletto, Associate of Science, Nursing. Tanisha Rochelle Matt, Associate of Science, Nursing. Jessica Northrup, Associate of Science, Nursing. (laughs) 
Chelsea Ann Braverock, Associate of Science, Nursing. Lacey Not Afraid, Associate of Science, Nursing. Jacob Raymond, Associate of Science, Nursing. Susan Helen Christopher, Associate of Science, Nursing. McAllister Rosenbaum, Associate of Science, Nursing. Bobby Joe Cross, Associate of Science, Nursing. Madison Jean Grebitz, Associate of Science, Nursing. Candace Sanders, Associate of Science, Nursing. Tara Jagger, Associate of Science, Nursing. Ama Sankey. Associate of Science, Nursing. Thomas C. Fleming, Bachelor of Science, Information Technology. Jarvis Joseph Ashley, Associate of Science, Information Technology. Leela Finley, Associate of Arts, Media Design. Mariah Catherine Friedlander, Bachelor of Science, Life Sciences, Cellular Biology. Shine P. Littleson, Associate of Science, General Science. Samantha R. Friedlander, Associate of Arts, Fine Arts. Congratulations. Donna Marie Kodik, Associate of Arts, Fine Arts. Basil Kenmill, Associate of Arts, Fine Arts. Amanda Lee Dalkey, Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Clerk, Certificate of Completion, Office Professions, Associate of Applied Science and Business Technology. Allison D. Pretty on top, Associate of Applied Science in Business Technology. Kelsey Jones, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Assistant. J. Shell Zier, Associate of Applied Science, Medical Assistant. Charmaine Arcan, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology, Workforce Certification in Dental Endorsement. Allison Goodshield, Certificate of Completion, Dental Assisting Technology, Workforce Certification in Dental Endorsement. Sharon Brown Littleplume. Certificate of Completion, Medical Office Clerk, Certificate of Completion in Office Professions. Jamie Fisher, 
certificate of completion, medical office clerk. Courtney Nicole Perry, certificate of completion, medical office clerk, certificate of completion in office professions. Patrick Yawaki, Associate of Arts in Tribal Administration and Governance. Lee T. Plainfeather, Certificate of Completion in Highway Construction Training. Michael J. Beston, Certificate of Completion in Highway Construction Training. James Buck, Certificate of Completion in Highway Construction Training. Samuel F. Croft, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Patrick L. Santos, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Michael Tyler Weirman, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. Anthony James, Certificate of Completion, Highway Construction Training. May we please have everyone stand for the closing prayer by Ms. Delilah Freelander, Quality Control Specialist, Glasgow Smith Klein Pharmaceuticals, and a member of the SKC Board of Directors. Kisu Kukie Kapiak Smaknik, Kusukit Kukni Nasan Mitki, Nipika Kikum. Anshana, Kastum Kakani Ninku, Pikatsin Kasam Munashi Sun, Kukum Nakakani Aksmak Nickness, Kukum Nakakani Kan Nick Namu, Hamakin Kasamunash Aswasnun, Nipika Nintakis, Kukum Nakashukni Aslawasnun, Zikatin in Kansikanam. I'm honored beyond my ability to express myself to be up here today. I ask the Creator to help our graduates continue on a sukni akmanam, a good road. I ask that you bless their families for all the love and support that they provided through the years. Please look after our people, Creator. Keep sickness and harm away from our eldest elder to our unborn. I ask that you help the people that are struggling right now Show them that they do have the ability to find happiness on this earth. Let it be easy for people of influence, our administrators, and this institution to give our youth and those that are struggling a chance to find that happiness. I ask that we all stay safe this weekend on the Powell Highway this summer, at our internships and at our jobs. Our ancestors, our grandparents, and our parents have overcome extreme efforts of genocide. And today, with your degrees in hand, you continue their legacy. Please take it easy out there. Take care of each other. Be kind to one another. Work hard. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Don't be afraid to ask for help. And don't be afraid to challenge yourself and that will help you in your journey. To the SKC graduating class of 2017, congratulations. May this be one of many successes in your future. Ay, hoyas tahas.
presenting the 2017 Salish Kootenai College graduate, graduating class. The Chief Cliff Singers will sing our, our graduates out today. <laughs> 